Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to show you in this video how to easily collect information from your contractors to be able to give them a 1099, okay? So 1099s in general, okay, there's some various rules and you gotta, you gotta check on this for your business. But in general, if you have somebody that does work for your business that is not an employee and they're a contractor, and you pay them more than $600 during the year, you have to issue a 1099, okay? To issue a 1099, you need their name, address, and their social security number or their tax ID number if they're a business, all right? Now, throughout the year, as you're doing work and you're, you know, you're scrambling around, most likely you don't collect this information, okay? So a good rule of thumb is when you have a vendor that sends you a bill, uh, you send them what's called a form W-9 and they fill it out and give it back to you and then you'll have their information. What a lot of businesses will do is not pay a vendor's bill until they get the W-9 back. That way it kind of forces the, the contractor to give you the information. Okay. But oftentimes what happens I see is, you know, it's the end of the year right now as I record this and people start scrambling around and saying, oh my gosh, we have to issue these 1099s. We need to get this information. Okay. So here's a, a, a quick way to do this through QuickBooks Online. All right. So first of all, I'm going to go over here and go to vendors and I am going to add a new vendor and I'm going to call this the QuickBooks University. Okay, and we'll say my name, okay, and we're going to put in uh, my email address, okay, so it's important that you have their email address, and then it's also important that you click here, track payments for 1099, even if you don't have any of their other information, you want to put that in there, that signifies to QuickBooks that this is a contractor, okay, so we hit save. All right, so now when I go over to workers and I go to contractors, you're going to see that my name pops up. All right, so let's click on my name and you'll see here that I don't have any of the personal details and you can send an email to the contractor. Okay, and then so what happens is when I click send email, it's going to bring up the information. You want to make sure that this is all right and you click send. All right. So it's going to send an email to the contractor and you'll see here that they've requested the information. And once it does, uh, you will, the, that contractor will get an email and they can fill out their information. All right. So let me show you here. I've got my email pulled up and I'm going to pull uh, this email over to the screen and you'll see, okay, uh, let's see, enter W9 information. Hey there. Um, and this is a sample file, so it says default, need your W-9 information, start by creating an Intuit account, fill out your W-9 details, okay? Uh, and so this is really simple to do. I'm not going to walk through all of this information and create another account, uh, but it is really simple to go ahead and enter that information, okay? So again, this is a way that you can easily just go through your contractor list, Make sure that you have all the information you need. And if you don't, you send an email to that particular contractor. And this will help you out tremendously, uh, you know, when you go to issue 1099s. All right. So for more information, head on over to the QuickBooks University. Uh, love to see you over there, qbuniversity.org. And I will talk to you soon.